Brangham says getting more energy out of food with less sweat was a key factor in human evolution. Cooking was a real time saver. It takes a lot of time to chew. So if we were a great ape, like a chimpanzee or a gorilla, we estimate that we would have spent about six hours a day just chewing. What? Yeah. Wow, their floss budget must have been immense. Humans are completely off the curve. Now, there's one problem with Rangham's theory. There's no evidence they built fireplaces suitable for cooking until around 400,000 years ago. And we know that the human brain was already evolving long before that, about 1.8 million years ago. Rangham is confident that older evidence of cooking fires will eventually turn up. But in the meantime, he's hunting for other evidence to support the theory. When he heard about Stephen Secor's work, he wondered if the snakes could help to illuminate just how much energy cooking actually saves. Secor can easily measure the energy it takes a python to digest food, just like he was able to measure how many calories it took for me to digest that plate of ribs. But there was a problem. Pythons don't eat what we do. They like their meals furry. So how do you make a python eat a steak? That was a challenge for Secor and his grad students. Believe it or not, this is what they figured out. They sewed a rat's face onto a steak. You have little meat stick rat puppets. That's right. Why not just take a cooked rat we wanted to use a food that was similar to what we might be eating. So we need to sort of entice them to eat the steak. Clearly, science takes ingenuity. <laughs> you could tape the face of a cupcake onto a big piece of broccoli and feed it to children. Success! Once full on that rat-faced steak, Secor put his python into this Tupperware, a makeshift oxygen tank so that he can measure exactly how much oxygen the snake consumes while it's digesting. Kind of like when I was on the treadmill with the this thingy. We have the same principle. But they don't make treadmills for snakes, so. And with that, he can figure out the caloric cost of digesting the raw versus cooked meat. The result? It turns out that cooked steak takes 12% less energy for the python to digest than raw steak. Say what you will, the rat-faced meat experiment worked. 